Welcome back to Ad Art. Today's Ad Art is for a girl called Frankie, who is a big fan of Disney's The Descendants, and her mum has asked me to draw Maleficent's Spellbook that now belongs to her daughter, Mal. So that's what we're going to draw today. Let's make a start. First we'll draw the top of the book and we'll have it almost lying down so we'll have these lines coming out at an angle to give us a little bit of perspective and we'll curve the spine of the book there all the way round and up and back round so this is like the book cover and it's quite an ornate cover it's uh, it'll be quite fun to draw we just go up a little bit and join that to the other bit there now let's put the edge of the book in Pages of the book that contain all those magical spells. I wonder what some of these spells could do. Turn people into frogs or make them more beautiful. details that are in each of the corner of the book. They have little jewels on them as well. So you draw down, across, and it comes in a little bit, almost like a half circle, and then it's like a holly leaf a little bit. Round and join it up. Put those jewels in I was talking about. Go. one in this corner as well cross up down and in and round in the holly leaf shape to a point there we go it's already looking quite decorative these are almost as though they're made of metal and they're kind of pinned to the leather binding logo in the centre of this book, a magical logo. It's almost contained within a circle. We're not going to draw a perfect circle. We'll have it slightly broken up, make it look a little bit more magical. Try and draw that circle with a few gaps in it. Do a little bit at the top here. And just start filling in these shapes. the sense of a circle without it being a full round. There we go. A little bit in the top there. Okay, now for the all important detail in the middle, the dragon. mouth comes up and has two horns and you might remember that Maleficent first appeared in uh, Sleeping Beauty and at the end she had the castle guarded by this dragon now this spell book belongs to her daughter Mal Just do this neck with some softer bits at the throat. There we go. The arm can 
comes out. Some sharp claws on the end. It's quite graphic, this dragon. It almost looks like the sort of dragon you might find on an old medieval flag. It's up and round and has like a spur on its leg there. So the leg comes around underneath. its long tail. So you follow the outline of this circle. I might start at the top actually and bring this down to meet it. There we go. And it curves back on itself. Has some sharp barbs on the end. It's all the way round. Some more razor sharp spikes on its back. Like any dragon, it needs its all important wings. So we'll just draw the fingers of the wing first. It's almost like a bat's wing. And then we'll fill those in with the softer sections that catch the air as it flaps. Okay, so that's looking good. That's looking like Mal's spell book. But let's start putting some leathery detail on that. It's an ancient book so we can age it a little bit. We also need to add some magic. Now, you can make your magic look however you like. The way I draw magic is very much inspired by Marvel's Steve Ditko. And uh, he used to draw magic like this for Doctor Strange and the Silver Surfer. So I kind of learned to draw magic a little bit like this. It looks almost like the liquid you find in a lava lamp. So you'll see in a minute I do this all the way round, but I'll add some more almost like globules of magic emanating from the book. You can have some real fun just kind of creating your own magic, putting in some lightning and um, electricity and however you imagine spells might look, you could just have them coming out from the pages. The Descendants is all about the teenage children of Disney villains who go to high school together. And um, it features Carlos, who's Krell of Deville's uh, son. Jay, who is Jafar's son. Evie, the evil queen's daughter. And Mal, who's Maleficent's daughter as well. Um, I'll be honest with you. I haven't yet seen The Descendants. I probably will, because I've got a young daughter and she's desperate to watch it. Um, but I have seen all the original films that their parents first appeared in. So I've seen 101 Dalmatians and Aladdin and Snow White and Cinderella and uh, um, Sleeping Beauty and all those original Disney classics. But uh, I haven't got round to watching The Descendants as yet. But I will. I've got Disney Plus, so... It's on, it's on the list. Um, Okay, so let's put some lightning coming out the book as well. We talked about that earlier. Kind of cracks of lightning shooting from the book. And almost with these lines, it, uh, it draws your eye into the picture. 
and I've been reading about the descendants, I try and do a bit of research on the drawings that I do, and uh, given my knowledge is lacking on this program, um, I read that actually these uh, descendants of the um, evil villains are on a mission to steal the fairy godmother's wand uh, with the aim of freeing their parents from captivity. So all the evil bad guys from the original films have been um, captured and they've been locked up and these teenagers are trying to free them. There we go, some lightning bolts as well. electricity lines in as well. Really going to town on the magic here. Be fun to colour in. circles, holes in this magical aura that's coming from the book. And I think we're done. There is Mal's magical spell book. But there is one thing missing. The fire from the dragon. So let's use a spell to make it appear. Dragon fire appear! we go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed drawing along with that one Frankie and everyone else. Um, do remember to subscribe so you get to see all the rest of the new ad arts that I do. Um, and also if you know friends who love um, Disney's The Descendants then send them a link to this video and challenge them to draw the spell book too. See who can create the best spells coming from the book. And remember, if you want to make a suggestion like Frankie's mum did, then just drop me a line on my Instagram account, which is at ad underscore art underscore king. And maybe I'll choose your idea for a drawing next time. But that's it for today. And I'll see you again next time on Ad Art. Bye for now.